Hey, how's it going my friends and welcome to Hardcore Iron Man Progress episode number 49. As you can see on the screen right here, I am pleased to say that I was able to obtain my first Smoke Devil task. It only took about 10 skips or so, so I got fairly lucky, didn't take too long. And of course the hope is to get a Occult Necklace. It's a 1 out of 350 drop rate, so the odds are stacked against me, but hopefully I can get lucky. The main plan this week is to mainly just camp Zoro until I can get at least one or two uniques from there. And part of camping it efficiently is to get the occult. So that's the plan. I'm hoping I can get it this task. And yeah, we'll see if I can get some good RNG. So one really cool thing about this boss is that according to the wiki, its max hit is only eight damage, meaning that as long as I wear a defense cape or a ring of life, it can't actually kill me because I'll just get teleported away seeing as I have 99 health. So kind of nice in a way. I didn't actually know that until recently. So. Very nice boss to kill in a hardcore, probably even technically safer than doing something like Kraken. What the? An Ancient Staff? I was not expecting to get that, I wonder how rare that is. Neat. I mean, it's kind of cool looking to see on the ground, I guess. What the? Are you serious? 28 KC? And I get a Smoke Battle Staff? I'm pretty sure that's more uncommon than an Occult. Oh my god! Holy smokes, I was- <laughs> holy smokes, yeah, get the pun. You see what I did there? Uh, but yeah, seriously, like, I'm fairly certain that's much more uncommon than an occult. Damn, I don't know whether to be glad or not about that. I mean, oh well, I mean, it, it does have a use. Hmm, yeah, I guess I'll take it. I'm kind of a little bit sad that it isn't an occult, because an occult would definitely be more useful at the moment, but that's pretty interesting, very neat. <laughs> I was definitely not expecting that. Yeah, I just looked it up, it's 1 out of 512, so a little bit more rare than an occult, which is only 1 out of 350. That was definitely unexpected, quite lucky to get that, although I would have preferred an occult as I said, but oh well, gotta just keep on grinding. There's no freaking way. There's no way! No! Okay, I was mildly upset about the first one, that's two now. One out of 512 drop rate. Dude, like, I struggle to get a whip, and that's the same drop rate. Yeah, I get two of these in 52 KC. Man, <laughs> I cannot believe that. Okay, that's definitely disappointing. The first one was okay, but a second one, man, that's not cool. <sighs> Why, why do I have luck in the most weird and bizarre places? Essentially just completely forgot about the existence of these bracelets of slaughter, so going to start taking advantage of them now probably should have before, but oh well, I sort of just abruptly remembered them, and so now I'm going to start using them and hoping that I can extend the task by a few kills. I was assigned 190, so I guess we'll see if I can push the task up to about 200. Yo, there's another ancient staff, second one coming in right here. What? Holy- What? Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> No way! Oh my god, I got the pet before the occult! Holy cow! Dude, that's so sick! I got my first ever bossing pet on the game! Oh! Bro! Dude, I need to calm down. Oh, I always get so worked up with these. That's two pets in two episodes! Dude, I cannot believe that! I cannot freaking believe this! I cannot believe I got literally everything except for the D-Chain before the occult. Dude, oh my goodness, that is insane. Man, you guys will really hate me when you check out how many I have left on task. Like, that was clutch right at the end. I'm still kind of in shock. Like, that doesn't make any sense. 206 kills for a pet that's like a 1 out of 3,000 drop rate. I think it's 1 out of 3,000, might be 2,000, but I'm pretty sure it's 3,000. That's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Come on, just give me the occult now. Just make this day perfect. Here is the last thermi kill. Can we extend the task? Oh man. For an ancient staff. Oh man. Dude, what a what a crazy task this has been. That was so close to being the occult. For ancient staff's pretty rare, man. Oh well. No occult, but we got like almost everything else. I think the only thing I could have gotten other than the occult would be the D chain, which is the one out of like 2,000 drop rate, but yeah, I can't complain about that task. We got the Smoke Battle Staff with another one to spare, as well as the Smoke Devil Pet, which is a pretty sick pet to get. I know it's like not a very dangerous boss or anything, so it's not like a huge achievement, but it is quite cool. I think with this little guy, I might actually take him around the game with me and start parading him around because as cool as my skilling pets are, they, I mean, they're still skilling pets, so they look cool, but they're kind of devalued due to bots and alts and 
I don't know, they're mainly just luck based, there's not really skill revolved around them, so I finally have a kind of respectable-ish pet to parade around the game, like when I raid, a lot of my raiding buddies will show off their coolest pets, and I always have felt a little bit left out seeing as I didn't have one, but we changed that today, so feeling pretty lucky. So I think the plan for now is to complete this cave crawler task that I got from Duriel from Birthorpe, and then to head back to Duradel and see if I get lucky with another smoke devil task. I have about a thousand points left, and I'm not really sure if I want to use them all for skips. Hopefully I get lucky, but if I don't, yeah, I'm going to be kind of torn whether I want to use all those points or not, because I also got the Dark Claw recently, and I'll need a thousand points to drop on getting the uh, recolor for the Purple Slayer Helm, but I guess I'll decide that later. Can we get even luckier than we've already been today? Oh, I can't... Oh, I don't want to skip that. I hate skipping those, but that's going to take, like, over two hours. Oh, it's too long. 250. Oh, it's so painful. I'm going to have to skip it. Oh, yes! Abyssal Whip! I've been waiting for this for a long time. Man, that feels good to see on the floor. That is so amazing. Oh, <laughs> this is a really good day. The pet and the whip. If you're wondering, this is just an extra whip that I brought. I already had this in the bank. I didn't get to this task, but yeah, that um, breaks another drive streak. I think it was about uh, 500 plus drive, so that's quite nice. I hadn't gotten a whip in... Uh, about 15 Slayer tasks of Abbey Demons. I can actually uh, do the math to prove that too. I calculated it and then it was pretty ridiculous. The, the one I got last was off task. So yeah, I'm very glad to finally gotten one on task. It's about time. I can use this to uh, attach to my duplicate tentacle that I have in the bank and then use it for raids, which will be super nice to have. If you're wondering, here's my current KC 5600 and I am currently sitting at four Abyssal Whips. The first I got at 600 KC, second was 1200, third was about 5000, and then here we have another one at 5661. Still looking for the next Smoke Devil task, but in the meantime, I think I'll take a break and get some Zora kills done. I haven't done it in a couple of days, so kind of eager to get back and test the luck, but the Occult Necklace Hunt is still going on. Just gonna take a little break here and test my luck. I've had a really lucky day so far, so who knows, maybe it could continue. Here is the first combat level coming in at Zora, and that is level 90 range, another 90 skill in the combat area. So that's actually the last one other than prayer, so that's kinda cool. Nice clean number, finally in the 90s in the range skill. And this will be the 100th Zora kill on the account. Aw, unlucky. Dragonstone is the 100th kill. Oh, you've gotta be joking me, man. Oh man, to rub salt in the wound. That's like the worst drop you could have gotten. And the snake skin! <laughs> this is the worst drop of all time, are you kidding me? Well, no luck. I even brought the pet for good luck, but that didn't seem to work. Well, my plan has backfired. That did not work in the slightest. I was hoping I'd have an item by now. Maybe the next 100 kills. After getting a 100 kill count at Zora, I decided to go back to Duradel to hunt some more for the occult necklace. And while I was skipping tasks, I got shamans. Wasn't really keen on doing them, but I can't really afford to skip them, and while I was doing them, I managed to get myself this Elite Clue Scroll, so let's see what we can get from this. Wow, that is like the most boring Elite Clue Scroll I've ever seen. Jeez, that's like really not very interesting, but there is a uh, 15 Elites done. Got some good news and some bad news. The good news is I was able to get 182 more Smoke Devils assigned, and the bad news is I spent over 400 points to do it, and there's yet another Hurricane on the way, so... I might not be able to get through the whole task. I'm probably going to have to put any form of combat and dangerous activity on the side, and I guess I'll be focusing a little bit more on skilling. In the meantime, though, I'm going to see how many kills I can get before the power starts to fluctuate and get a little iffy. But yeah, let's see if we can get the occult right before the storm hits. I was also a little bit on the fence of whether I should continue to kill the boss or kill the little ones, because if I kill the small guys, I can barrage him. It'll take, like, probably one-fifth the amount of time. But I feel like I might just stick with the Thermi boss, seeing as the drop rate is 150 more common than the little guys. It's 1 out of 512 for the little ones, and then 1 out of 350 for this one. And I really don't want to have to waste another 400 points, so I'm going to try my best to get at this task. And here is 300 kill count at Thermi. Can we pull the occult? No. And there is 350 kill count at Thermi. No occult necklace yet. Feels bad. Got some pretty unexpected luck there. And I didn't get what I was initially hoping for, but the fact that I got the pet kind of makes up for not getting the occult. So overall, I can't complain yet, but hopefully I don't go uh, double the drop rate. 
here is the final oh hey never mind <laughs> i was about to say that's the final kill but luckily the bracelet activated this will be the last kill and no oh, that would have been amazing if we got the occult there there's two tasks dry 429 kill count was able to extend the task by maybe roughly 30 or so because of the bracelet, the uh, bracelet of slaughter. Those are quite nice. I definitely recommend using them if you need to extend a task like this. But yeah, let's head on over to Duradil and see if we get lucky. If not, I'll probably do like 10 skips or so. And if we're not lucky, then I guess I'll head back to Zora and do some more kills there. I really hope I get this occult though. It's kind of holding me back from really grinding out Zora. I'll do a little bit, but I like to get the occult for when I do the uh, bulk of this over grind. And I'd also like to mention that I got over 1 mil cash just from Alks and regular old coin drops from that task, so it's actually quite profitable. On an Iron Man, all the Alks really do add up, so 1 mil from one task is pretty solid. Yes, let's go! Oh, that only took like 5 skips. I got pretty lucky there. I had a Jad task, which I was able to skip without wasting points, and I also had a task of like 12 Black Dragons, which took like four minutes but yeah feels lucky that'll be another like 230 smoke devils oh yeah and as for that hurricane that i mentioned i actually didn't wind up doing any skilling the hurricane did hit but i just trained on mobile instead seeing as thermi is basically safe with the defense cape i decided you know why the heck not so i did about 50 kills on mobile which is kind of cool so yeah mobile for the win very glad to be part of the Android beta. I think that it's going to be fully released by the end of the month, so that's pretty exciting. Went ahead to make some more house teleports and hit level 91 magic. There is another attack level coming in, and what's so cool about this one is it puts me at 222 combat. Should be getting a strength level not too long after that as well, less than 200k to that. Yes, let's go! First kill of the trip, a cult necklace. Look at it on the ground. It's amazing <laughs> that was quite a long grind i didn't go too dry but definitely can't complain seeing as i got the pet i got not one but two smoke battle stabs and then i got the occult just a little over a hundred kills past the drop rate but that was so satisfying to see i can finally go ahead and grind zora i guess there's no point in actually staying here and finishing the task or actually I could just go ahead and barrage the little ones I might do that eventually but yeah feels really good to finally get the occult now on to some Zora. Wow I can't believe it wasn't until after I finished Thermi that I figured out you can disable the smoke. <laughs> oh, I feel so silly right now. I mean the smoke actually didn't really bother me and there was a time when the thought crossed my mind I was wondering if there was a way to disable it but I didn't care enough to really look further into it. But yeah, it's as simple as that. You just right click the cave and yeah, it's gone. Man, actually this is better, I will admit. It wasn't really bothering me until I finally turned it off. <laughs> oh my god. So here's the comparison between the Fury and the Occult. As you can see, when I slap the Occult on, my magic damage goes up from plus 5 to plus 15%. And then the accuracy goes from plus 109 to 111, so definitely a nice upgrade over the Fury. The only downside, it doesn't give the uh, defense bonus as the Fury, but I think the extra DPS will kind of compensate for that. I think I'll also get an extra like one or two damage to my max hit with magic, so overall definitely a nice upgrade for Zora, and I'm looking forward to getting back to the grind. Here is 128 kill count at Zora, and we get a Dragon Midhelm. That's not how I wanted to end it off. Darn it. <laughs> well, that's kind of unfortunate. We have hit the drop rate with no items so far other than three Dragon Med Helms, three Dragon Halberds, and a Crystal Seed. So, so far my prediction of getting lucky has been driven straight into the ground, but you never know, maybe the next 100 kills will be better. Just decided to get a little cooking done to replenish my food supply, and we hit level 87. And there is another Hunter level. All thanks to birdhouses. Let's see if this unlocks anything interesting. Nope. Whoa, I also got an elite clue. What the heck? That must be like insanely rare. I wonder if I can actually complete it. Uh, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> oh wait, no, I can do that. Oh, sweet. There we go, clue scroll complete. What we got? Eh, uh, nothing interesting whatsoever. Well, it happened again. I died again. Kind of annoyed by this one. This was uh, particularly bad. I got smacked to 40 right at the end. I basically thought Zora was dead and I thought I was in the clear and just got smacked to 40. I uh, usually tank those with 99 defense but got fairly unlucky, was also quite careless so I guess I'll just accept it. But I'm going to take this time 
to go ahead and finish my uh, smoke devil task. I'm gonna quickly go ahead and barrage them. And yeah, let's see if we get another occult or something, I guess. Oh, nice. I think I got this down. I wasn't actually sure how you lower these smoke devils. I've never done them before. I came in thinking it would be easy, but I didn't really know what I was doing. But I looked up a guide and basically you just run north to south and then they all clump up. So I have my tiles marked here for the exact spots that I stand and yeah this is a pretty chill task I'll probably do these from now on because they're kind of nice good for magic oh hello we got ourselves a nuclear smoke devil I completely forgot these things even had a superior but they technically have the best chance of getting a unique item so yeah good luck to me so how much XP do I get from killing one of these I hope it's a lot let's see it's gonna be 2400 so actually a blood belt is still a lot more and unfortunately we didn't get any uniques haven't had one of these in a while but here is another farming level that is level 86 and this will be 200 kill count at the big old snake for some law runes addy bars and scales still no item feels bad man i don't like this boss anymore one bit nope don't like it that's a crystal seed and a spirit seed now and 5 D meds and 5 D Hallies. I was saying how lucky I was gonna be at this boss. I said that like four different times in the last episode. That's what I get for being arrogant, I suppose. Darn it. Another Dragonstone? I've gotten two of those now. Dude, are you serious? What the heck is this RNG? I don't need one of those. I went like 93 Slayer Dry practically. And then I get three before I'm... Oh, jeez, I'm about to die. Dude, I'm actually really happy I didn't die there because I would have had to wait for another revive. Jeez, that stupid shield left half distracted me. Whew, feels lucky, man. Needed to restock on some range pots for Zolra and managed to get myself 84 herb lore. Can now make anti-fire potions. This is going to be 256 kill count at Zolra. And sadly, we still do not have a single unique other than that shield left half as well as the crystal seed and spirit seed. Oh well, I guess I'll just keep on grinding. It definitely feels a little bit discouraging, especially since I was thinking that I'd get lucky here. I don't know why, I just had a good feeling about Zora going into it, but evidently that is not the case so far. The good news though, however, is that I get a lot of supplies from Zora. It's definitely not the worst boss to go dry on. I get supplies, scales, as well as the fact that I don't waste nearly as many prayer potions here than at Cerberus. So I can't complain too much, but I would like to see a drop pretty soon. And if you're wondering, the current amount of scales that I have is 56,000, and that totals 12.4 mil value. That's insane. Wow. At least I have a lot of scales for when I finally do get an item. Okay, I'm getting really tired of this, dude. Come on, just give me like a good unique. Because this is technically the same drop rate is a rare. That's a good thing I actually enjoy killing Zora and I get scales and supplies and stuff like that because, um, yeah, if this was happening at Cerberus right now, I'd be a lot more upset. I mean, it kind of did, but technically I did have the Smoldering Stone. But yeah, this is um not looking good. I hope things turn around. I am liking the supplies though, you know, 500 Chaos Runes every time. Yeah, I'll take that. I will say though that getting all these troll drops from Zora is kind of serving as a motivator in itself like i really want to just get revenge on this darn snake and pull an item so kind of got a lot of motivation right now to just grind it out and get lots of kills per day yeah i'm just not gonna make any more comments about this i'm just gonna keep silent and carry on with the zolra grind this right here will be the completion of another elite clue scroll and we got a master and a top hat not bad i will take that i've never had this item before does that look cool oh it looks amazing <laughs> i love it man that is peak fashionscape right there let's see if we can do the master i'm still yet to complete one of these i'll probably have to drop it but you never know i could get lucky nope whoa look at that drop holy cow yeah i've never gotten uh triple scales before i don't even remember getting this on my main ever and here is 300 zora kill count for the flax and snakeskin very nice no that's like the worst very drop table drop i hate seeing those like i really hate those with the fashion i remember i got those a couple times on my regular account and I always hated seeing those. Oh, they're the worst. I'd rather get a Dragonstone. Took a little break just now to go ahead and make myself some more Rings of Recoil. When I started, I had like nearly 20,000 charges on this thing. 
and I'm already down to like 2,000 something, so they go by a little bit quicker than I first anticipated them. I also used a bunch of Cerberus, so this wasn't all at Zora, but still, they went down a lot quicker than I first thought. When I uh, also first charged this thing, I did one inventory at a time. I didn't realize you could note them, so that's kind of handy to know, so I can just go ahead and do that. And now we have another 18,700 charges, so that will last me hopefully until I'm finished with Zora. Another elite casket from Zora. What do we get from this one? Another master clue. Can we do our first one? Nope, once again. Yay, I've got three of these now. 60K farming XP. Ah, oh, so close to breaking under two minutes. So far I've only done that once and that was the 146 times. So 14 seconds below two minutes. And that's the only time I've actually done it. Kind of crazy actually to think about that. Oh my heavens, it finally happened. Ho oh, ho let's go! Dude, no way. I was one kill off being three times dry. I got the freaking Tanzanite Fang as my first drop. I cannot believe this. Let's go! Oh, dude, I am so excited. One kill off being officially three times the drop rate. And I finally get it. It's the best one. It's just like Cerberus, man. It's almost identical. I just go like hella dry and then I get the best drop as my first item. I can't believe this. <laughs> well, let's just test this thing out. I have plenty of scales to charge. I think I have like five times the amount of required scales. So that's quite cool. So I'm going to need this as well as all of these 85,000 scales, by the way, that totals roughly 20.3 mil. And if I use the chisel on it, I'm pretty sure that's all you need to do. And there it is. Oh man. Look at that. I used like, looked like 25k scales to charge it. Or actually, no, it was only 16k. Yeah. Um, actually, a little bit cheaper than I thought. Oh, it tells me right there, I got 16k. So now if I add my darts, uh, what should I add actually? Uh, let's just do the advent just because why not? Or actually, I could do rune <laughs> just to celebrate. Uh, but now I'll just use the advent for now just to try and see if I can get a personal best at Zora and then I'll move on to the mythal darts to be more conservative later in the future. I suppose to make up for the fact that I now have a two-handed weapon instead of a one-handed weapon, I'll go ahead and add the Archer Helm to my switching rotation because I don't really know what else to bring. I kind of want to keep the eight-way switch going here. All right, here we go. The first ever test of the blowpipe. What's it got in store for us? Uh, a couple zeros. Uh-oh, it's not hitting anything. Oh, what's going on, bro? What's nice is that I actually have a spec now. Oh, look at these hits. Oh, these are nice. Yeah, let's try specking it. it actually heals you. Oh my god, look, it just healed me to full. Dude, that's so overpowered. <laughs> let's see if we somehow get the back-to-back. -back. You never know. Aw, oh, feels bad, man. Okay, now that was a really fast kill. How fast was that? 145. Oh, I got a personal best by one second. <laughs> Dude, that's like, I think the... Yeah, it's two kills after the bullet pipe, and I already got a personal best. That just shows how powerful this thing is. It doesn't hit very big, but it is so much more consistent than the crossbow. And here is 400 kill count at Zora. Just like Cerberus, I probably should have expected more drops, but the fact that I got the best side up first kind of made up for the dry streak. So yeah, overall I'm pretty satisfied with how things have gone so far because of this one drop right here. Oh wait, what's this? You have a funny feeling like you would have been followed. What do you mean? Oh no! <laughs> Ah, shoot. I just got the fishing pet again. I guess it's sort of cool. I mean, I've never seen that message in my chat before. Never gotten a pet twice, but it's official. I have two fishing pets in 84 fishing. What the hell is going on? That's technically three pets in two episodes. I mean, if you count this, I don't even know if you want to count it, but wow. I can't believe that just happened. Following the bizarre occurrence of getting the second fishing pit on the account, I think I'll end things off here. I told myself I didn't want to end the episode until I got a Zulra drop and I was getting ready to give up on that, but I finally was able to pull through. Jagex decided to reward me for my efforts and I obtained the best possible item I could get. So feeling pretty lucky. I didn't want to leave you guys in a cliffhanger, so I'm really thrilled that I was able to get one this week instead of having to wait till next week to post it. So quite lucky to get that. Kind of a deja vu moment to Cerberus in the sense that I went dry on both of those bosses and then when I finally do pull an item after almost like 400 kills on each of them, I get the best possible item you can get. So kind of unlucky and then lucky at the same time, I suppose. Next week though, I think the only main goal of mine is simply to test out the 
blowpipe at various locations to see how much it enhances certain activities such as raiding and more Zolra and Slayer and that kind of thing. So I'll probably just be testing that thing out and seeing what it can do. Aside from that though, feel free to follow all of my socials, my Twitter, my Twitch, my Discord, that kind of thing. They'll all be linked down below. And I thank you all for watching. I really appreciate you guys tuning in each week to watch the progress. And I will see you all in about a week. So take care.